robotic, Greg, in this one. They filtered out all the noise and came in razor-sharp precision right, on the Greg, offensive end. Thank you. And AI throws it down. Well, how about LeBron reading the defense, waiting and being patient there until the gap opened up to deliver. Yep. And that unleashed chaos replay presented by Under Armour. And yeah, they should bring out a big razor right now, Kevin. A great start, an aggressive move. <laughs> They're not going to lay down. Just really unselfish there. Harris is someone who knows when one of his guys is wide open. Like real on, play on with it. On with it. the way just can't connect. Man, oh, missed the opportunity there. Really just came down to some poor timing. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific. Yep. I go with this, man. All right. Okay. Good, okay. Let's do this. We good? Offense, play calling. I'll start doing it. Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, it's good. It's good. Let's do it. Let's do this. Set. The nope. upsets can. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. I love this. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And the pregame warm-ups wrapping up out there in Cleveland where it'll be the Cavaliers against the Los Angeles Lakers. For Los Angeles, they come in off a win in their last outing against the Heat in Miami. A great win for them, and they rose to the occasion and pulled off the upset. Riding high right now. And already the grind of the new season starting to show. Shaq? How do you stay fresh for the long haul, both uh, as a player and as a just a massive individual? Veteran guys, you got to know how to pace yourself. And minute restrictions, you know, it, it really has become a bigger part of the game. Yeah, I agree. So, you know, injury histories always taken into account now. This is why you have to develop depth. How do you stay fresh for the long haul? Oh, man, I have this drink I put together. Oh, Willie, really? what is it? Oh, yeah, it's a little, like, I take tomatoes, right? And I squish them up, and, I get to, and it gets real, like, tomato sauce. Uh -huh. And I put that in. And then I take uh, kale salad. I put uh -huh. that in. What are you I making, put spaghetti? Ginger. I put ginger in it. Yeah. Put that in. I put a little cayenne pepper in. Sounds, a little bell pepper. Sounds Ernie. disgusting. Ernie, he's <laughs> making lasagna over there. Sounds disgusting. Can I get some of your lasagna? Oh, man, it's, it's a pepper. It makes you pep up. Yeah, that'll do it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Also give Okay. Okay. Come on, let's do this. We got this. You ready, man? You ready for this? Let's do this, man. Come on. Hey, hi. What's up, man? It's the Lakers, and they're doing business on the road. It's an interconference NBA matchup. The excitement hey, of the NBA Ready? is on the way. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Perry and Greg uh, Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. They'll play this one here in Cleveland before the Cavaliers head back on the road. 
a great start to the season for them. Notching three wins to oh. tip it off. Okay. And seeing where the Cavaliers are, yeah. they've already shown they're going to be a dangerous team this season. It's just a matter of whether or not they can take that next big step. Yeah, still wonder about them. It hasn't happened quite yet. Just slightly behind the conference leaders. They're poised to make a push for that top spot in the standings once we get into the heart of the season. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. That's fine. So for the Lakers right now, LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. All out there with Harris. And it's AI in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. One of the interesting storylines of this young season, Brett Barry, the surprising early development of a couple rookies in the league. Early development of rookies is a, a great thing for a young team because all of a sudden somebody's taken the reins. And I think coaches always appreciate when a rookie comes in, he does the work in the offseason, all that work starts to pay off. But now rookies tend to start looking towards somebody else okay. or the team okay. starts looking nice. towards that young player as somebody who may be able to handle and carry the weight of the franchise for a little while. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. I was able to talk with the head coach of the Cavaliers. He knows they have to dig oh, in on defense. They're facing a really talented doing? offense. He said, if those guys get going, we're going to be on the wrong end of some long runs. We have to be disciplined, work together, and make those second, third, and fourth efforts on plays, whatever it takes to get a stop. We'll see if they can get a win in this first matchup between the teams this year. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. He really has them focused on not letting this game turn into a shootout. And that's the way you've oh got to play it oh against them. I mean, start trading baskets with this group, and you play right into their hands. Well, the mindset then has to be about a physical basketball game that with bodying up the bigs and not getting any like free runs to the hoop. So let's see if physicality becomes a part of this one. Here's Rondo following the basket by Kevin Love. Kuzma passes to AI. What are they and doing? the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. Well, you knew it wouldn't last forever. Couldn't last forever. LeBron's departure in the offseason, a huge blow to this Cleveland franchise. And it's going to be talk and speculation as to why LeBron James left again. And that's going to continue all season long. But ultimately, the team, the city, they need to regroup. They need to reset. They need to think about their future. And they did a good job of gathering assets and some youth in the departure of LeBron James. But, man, that's a hole they're never going to fill, Kevin. Clock at six. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. And obviously the season's just begun, but never too soon to check out the power rankings. Let's see how these teams are stacking up. You look at Portland. They're moving on up. Fourth yeah, spot in the rankings this time around. And when you look at the Lakers, they're moving in the wrong direction. The good news, though, it's still early in the season. A lot of games left to be played. Plenty of time to turn things around. And Thompson sends it back. Wow. Well, Thompson lives wow. in the paint, and defensively, occasionally, Thompson. you're going to get the shots like that. And stolen by Kuzma. Come on, come on. Give it to me. Here's AI, and AI throws okay. it down. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, the ball, Kevin, man. on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some good offense like a great play defensively. Well, it fires up your teammates and the fans when you make plays like that out in the open court and explosive. And so it's Cleveland with it after the basket by Los Angeles. Kept alive, Thompson. It's tipped. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait. Keep on with it. And first quarter, waiting. we're about three and a half minutes in. And Thank that you. That looks good by LeBron. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Tipped away. And here we go. Harris <laughs> heading to the hoop. And by Harris. He just can't be relaxed around Harris. He's great at recognizing when to take risks and go for the steal. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. 
Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Playing on the road, always a challenge, but it becomes a heck of a lot easier when you can shoot the three ball the way they did. I just like their confidence. Even when they did miss, it felt like that's the shot they were designing to get, so it never seemed to phase them. And that one's good, Osman. That's what you want to work for, a high percentage look from deep. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Lakers. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. I tell you what, uh, how efficient they were at scoring the basketball, especially for an away game, that was impressive. Yeah, it was almost uh, robotic, Greg, in this one. They filtered out all the noise and came in razor-sharp precision nice on the three, offensive end. Thank you. And AI throws it down. Well, how about LeBron reading the defense, waiting and being patient there until the gap opened up to deliver? Yeah. And that Unleash Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And, Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that mm -hmm. lead right away. Yeah, they should bring out a big razor right now, Kevin. A great start, an aggressive move. <laughs> They're not going to lay down. Just really unselfish there. Harris is someone who knows when one of his guys is wide open. Sexton with it. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against the Pistons in Detroit. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And Colin Sexton, when it comes to scoring, the man shows you a little bit of everything. Loves to drive it, loves to attack inside, improving his consistency from range. But, but what I love about him is the aggressiveness. This guy is always in attack mode. Now here's Rondo. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Now here's LeBron. He's guarded closely. Ah. It's just not easy to contain or control LeBron James. A nightmare when trying to stop him, especially on the drive. Last season, LeBron James becoming just the seventh player ever to score 30,000 points in a career. Well, he's like a rare stake, Kevin. Obviously, he's not done. Might have the best shot of catching Kareem when it's all said and done in terms of total points scored in the league. Maybe approach 40,000, but ultimately, oh, he's that? definitely in the top three. Oh, I like real play on with it. On with it. the way just can't connect. Man, oh, missed the opportunity there. Really just came down to some poor timing. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. And if you check out the strategy, you can see already the plays that they're calling. It feels like they found a weakness or two in the defense. Here's Osman after the made shot from AI. Sexton kicks to Clarkson. Shot clock at six. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Show of confidence right now from Jordan Clarkson and his jump shot. Los Angeles leading by nine. Harris dishes to AI. LeBron outside. Passes to Kuzma. Second chance shot. AI. No or Cleveland gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Harris against Clarkson. Let's it go from deep. Rondo with the rebound. And so it's the Lakers with it. They have a nine-point lead. Nance comes with the double team. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. I got it. So it's the Lakers now. Rondo kicks to Harris. No good with the triple. Cavaliers shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50% to the paint. Here's Love. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. That's a nice touch from Kevin Love. When he's deep inside like that, he's adept at, at guiding those shots home with a soft touch. And the foul on Larry Nance Jr. That is his first foul yeah, of the game. Hey. Henson checked in for the Cavaliers. Smith comes in for Clarkson. Ingram, he's checked in for the Lakers. 
Rondo passes to AI. LeBron outside. Back to AI. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Smith finds Nance. Chalk up two there. And now it's only a five point Laker lead. Well, you like it when J.R. Smith moves the ball. You know J.R. wants to shoot it. Nice pass there. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Rondo dishes to AI. James outside. In the corner, it's Ingram. It's tipped. Oh my Just God. fine to shoot. Now, here is Smith. Here's the teardrop. He takes it up and lays it in. Yeah, that's the uh, third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes out, in the middle. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. The WNBA, the top teams make the playoffs. We know that regardless of what conference. And the early results look good, Brent. Do you ever see that happening in the NBA? I, I like the chatter about it. I like the consideration about it. I love the idea of the top 16 teams making the playoffs. But then I think to myself, well, if 12 of those 16 teams are in the Western Conference, then a lot of people are going to be watching something else come playoff time. So travel just it just makes it prohibitive. Not, not just it? the travel, Kevin, but the idea that you have these shifts, as we know, oh the Western God. Conference has dominated the NBA for at least the last decade that there just wouldn't be much attention for the playoffs, at least throughout the country, if you did it that way. Now, here is Smith after Colin Sexton's miss. That's tipped. And, and love the defensive activity from KCP. Selling out there for the block. And the Lakers making a change here. Chandler's checked in. Now, A.I. 38 points for him last game against the Heat in Miami. A lot of those plays came off tremendous hustle. He was committed to ripping down as many rebounds as he possibly could in this one. What happened? What the Cavaliers trail by three. Here's Osman. He had 13 points in the win against Detroit. A little over aggressive. He's got to dial it back if he wants to stay on the floor. 2,000 the first. Tough to overcome. And Cleveland making a change here. Zizic has checked in. Now, here's AI. He's got 11. Come get it, come get it. Stevenson outside. They could use a bucket. The Cavaliers pull it in. Oh, my God. What's going on? This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. In their meetings last year, they split the season series. Happens a fair amount between teams from the East and West. Yeah, even when it comes to matchups where it looks like one side should be the clear favorite, those brief two-game series often end one and one. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, you don't want J.R. Smith to get room to shoot, especially from the mid-range there. He's very effective at scoring just about anywhere on the floor. AI kicks to Ingram. Stevenson outside. Shoots a three, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. A chance to check out AI here. The past month has been surreal. First in shooting percentage, and ranked among the top 10 in scoring, he can fill it up with the best of them. And you're right, he's been the pinnacle of scoring efficiency. Never seems to take a bad shot. That's why he's tops in field goal percentage. Sexton kicks to Osman. Out to the right wing. Here's Zizic. He's guarded by Chandler. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Here's Sexton, and he gets it to go from the high post. Sexton's got six points. A dangerous score from go, mid-range. Man. Sexton loves to take that shot when he gets it in rhythm. Here's Stevenson, and Henson sends it. Wow. Down, down low. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. They are just killing them on the interior. 
The Cavaliers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. That's good from J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith is a straight gunner. He's just a guy who wants to shoot every time he touches the ball. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Smith on the wing. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. We can't score. Lakers trail by four. Ingram outside. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Now, here's Sexton. He's covered by Ingram. Here's the three. But they'll get another chance. Out to Smith. And Sexton has it in the corner. Floats one. Count it. Good. He's got eight. You know, not bashful about positioning himself inside. Sexton knows he has what it takes to score from there. To the paint. Here's AI. And that Are shot was up in time, me? but doesn't go in. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We've got more in store for you right after this. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Wow. Halfway through the first half in this one. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? Well, to me, the story of that first period was their rebounding. Yeah, jumping out to a lead largely because they, they did the hard work on the glass. So you love the passion in the early part of this game that they're playing with. Sexton and Smith are the guard tandem. John Henson out there with Zizic, and it's Osman in at the three spot. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Now here's Stevenson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And the Lakers with another turnover here. Wow. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You take a look at the 76ers. Things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. And, of course, the Cleveland Cavaliers, two and a half games back. Well, I think for Cleveland, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stages. Well, the goal is very defined. They have to have a strong finish to the season and make sure they get home court advantage for at least the first few rounds of the playoffs. Who we got one? Good. Oh the my Cavaliers God. lead cut down to eight. Again, the points coming from Caldwell Pope. The Cavaliers shooting has been just outrageous. 64% from the field to this point. And Henson kicks to Sexton. Back to Henson. And John Henson with the slam. Sexton has to just keep developing his court awareness. You, you want to see more passing from him. And, of course, Colin Sexton. His college team once had to finish a game with only three players. Yeah, he scored 40 that night. <laughs> I mean, almost led him to a victory. He loves to play under the bright lights, brings great energy and enthusiasm every night. Now, here's Stevenson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Here's Sexton. It's deflected. They retain possession. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Stevenson. Caldwell Pope outside. <laughs> oh, my God. Smith against Caldwell Pope. Second chance shot. Up again. Pretty much all of their buckets <laughs> coming from inside the paint now. And the Lakers oh call God. time here. And as the Ooh, coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with wow. some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure. Ball's knocked loose. Smith the pass to Clarkson. To the middle. 
And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. A lottery pick back in 2012, John Henson, has pretty much flown under the radar except around the rim. People understand just how effective he can be there, a quality defender and rim protector. James against Nance. The drive by James. Ingram outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And Jordan Clarkson is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. James outside. Harris dishes to AI. Six to shoot. LeBron outside. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Thank you. And AI throws it down. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Henson not a floor spacer. Offensively, you'll find him around the rim. He's a pretty good finisher in there, but he doesn't get a ton of opportunities. You're right. Defensively, you just like his mobility combined with his length. That's a help. Back to AI. And AI Thank you. The ball. And didn't do Let's anything help, fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. And here's Clarkson. He's coming off a 28-point game against Detroit. Now the dish to Nance. And the rejection hey. by James. LeBron using his length that time perfectly. When he's in the area, you can't throw up anything lazy. That's their third straight make off an assist. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Smith kicks to Henson. Rondo against Clarkson. Back to Henson. Deflects the pass. Oh, nice. and stolen by LeBron. Pass to Rondo. Here's AI. And Henson sends it well, he's a great shot blocker. Henson still trying to bring the rest of his game up to that level. Smith up top, guarded by Harris, and the call will go against Corey Harris. That's his first foul. Ante Zizic is checked in for the Cavaliers, and the Lakers also making a change. And Stevenson's checked in for Ingram. Clarkson against Rondo. Zizic passes to Smith. Three on the clock. Knocked away. It's stolen by Harris. Nice. Jumps up and slam dunk by Harris. An energetic player who just looks to score often. Harris is very comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Smith kicks to Zizic. Back to Smith. Nice. Stolen by Corey Harris. Here's Rondo, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Friday, they'll be matching up against Rudy Gobert and the Utah Jazz. Oh. Then on Sunday, they'll defend home court against the Orlando Magic. And the matchup against the Nuggets, they have that date circled. They love to compete, and they feel they can play very well against that group if they can execute. Yeah, when Rondo gets motivated, and we've seen that now for a good stretch, he's as valuable as it gets. Clarkson kicks to Henson. Now the pass to Zizic. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. The no. Cavaliers no. again can't hit. Pass to AI. James, the pass to AI. Tries again. Hangs. He lays it in. <laughs> AI's got 17 down. now. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. To stop the drought. Oh, and he just oh knocked God. down the buzzer, Peter. What a grand finale to the half. Great shot from distance to give his teammate the momentum right before the buzzer. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Cavaliers ahead. They're up by five. 
And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, you have been getting it done tonight, scoring, rebounding, everything. How have you played, and where have you found all this energy? I guess me. Well, no, nah, no. Nah. See, you guys understand, this hasn't just been me. Yeah, uh, as a team, we're playing with a lot of heart tonight. You know, these guys, they boxing out, they're playing physical, and that's allowed me to get a lot of easy shots and get a lot of rebounds. Teammates getting it done, individuals getting it done as well. Great combination, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Really an incredible game from AI. Yeah, the rebounding, particularly on the offensive side, as good as it gets, he was bringing the effort down low. Yeah, those extra possessions, considering how hard it can be sometimes to find offense, become invaluable. Taking a look at the Lakers. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Harris is out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's AI in at the center, filling out the middle. Let's talk about team defense, Brent. To develop trust, it seems like guys have got to communicate on the floor. I talk to my friends often who ask me about playing an NBA game and playing defense. They first start with saying that I didn't play any, but the second They're thing, wrong. The second they thing that we wrong. get but the second thing we get to, <laughs> Kevin, is talking about really how intricate good defenses can be. You talk about communication, that's one thing, but throughout the course of the season, you build so much sweat equity on defense and trust by knowing that somebody's gonna be behind you, hearing that voice consistently, but position on the floor where you that? almost develop play sets as a defensive team. Now, when you reach that level, that's the upper echelon, but that's when it really gets fun to be down on that end, to shut a team down, to keep a crowd quiet. Defense always begins with great communication. So many things, rotations and playing angles and, and having the guy in back, you know what you can do well, what you can't do well if you're ahead of him. Well, that, Kevin, and also great teams who are adaptable to make changes on the fly. All of a sudden, a dead ball, coach calls out a different coverage. You want to mess up the team's rhythm on? on the other end. What's and five on? guys, they snap to it and can carry out that defensive assignment in one play call. That's great defense. Now, here's Ball. He's tightly guarded. And he gets it to go. Ball's got his first points of the night. There's just a feel that Ball plays with that, that really separates him from so many other players. He, he's superb at finding ways here to score in the paint. Harris against Clarkson. He kicks it to Love. Shot clock at five. Here's Sexton. No shot clock two. And that one hits back iron. That was some very intimidating, aggressive defense that really helped alter that shot. Got that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut down now to just five on the basket from James. Yeah, hard to stop LeBron from getting in that deep. So the size, the speed, the power, the position. Two more. Back to love. The feed to Thompson. Ah, and the layup is good. Man. Thompson's got four points this quarter. That's good passing down low. He's good at working the ball deep into the post. LeBron dishes to AI. Back to James. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. The Lakers have been good at the free throw line. Ah. This one, seven of eight. And he ends up missing both free throws. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Here's Clarkson. And again, it's Cleveland. I love the pace he's playing with, letting his offense come to him naturally and then building upon this lead for his team. Here is outside. Shoots over Clarkson. And again, no good by the Lakers. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. Inside, Love. Unloads from nine. 
Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. And now it's an 11 point Cavalier lead. And I really, I want to see more of that from him. I mean, he's been passing up on his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones that he takes. Los Angeles calls timeout. And they've let things get out of hand. Good time. You know, watching Kevin Love, he's really got a ton of tools at his disposal What's offensively. Uh, we know he can shoot it. We know he can post it. But his off-ball movement has also improved. Love has molded himself into a dynamic scorer. And with Love and his offensive game, he has even started getting more scores off of cuts. Yeah, Lo Love has a good sense of timing on when a lane will open up and often will get matched up with a defender that just isn't as quick as he is. And when everything is clicking no. for him, he can light it no. up in a quarter as we've seen in the past. Uh, this is a nice connection with Larry Nance Jr. Throw it his way. He'll take care of the rest. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Havoc. Ingram passes to A.I. Outside Rondo. And the Lakers with another miss. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 16-7 run. Osman kicks to Sexton. Inside and stolen by Kuzma. Ingram passes to Stevenson. And the rejection by Smith. Oh, Nance in position. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And, and the advantage they have starting to increase. Things are coming together for them at a really opportune time. Coaches always talk about the first five minutes of the third quarter. They have definitely increased their energy level here. Rondo kicks to AI. Six on the shot clock to the paint. Oh, oh good shot bad. missing. Cavaliers go the other way with it. The Cavaliers on offense. They're on an 18 to 7 run. And good that time. Benson's got the lead up to 12 now for the Cavs. Nice pass here to set that basket up. The Lakers have gone 7 to 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Now here's Ingram. He's covered closely. Here's AI. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Lakers have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. Boy, it's been so hard to watch at times. I mean, he's missed so many of his foul shots tonight. Good to see him finally come through there. And Cleveland making a change here. Clarkson's checked in. And then for Los Angeles. LeBron, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And Harris subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Sexton kicks to Osman. It's hauled in by LeBron. You got to make that. The defense was far from terrible, but, man, that's an easy shot. And it's Ingram missing. Yeah, and listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Ingram against Clarkson. Henson in the corner. And another three for Cleveland. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Harris with it. Guarded now by Sexton, and the shot goes down. And that's 17 points for Corey Harris. And his teammates have to step up just a little bit more. He's been lights out. Needs a bit more support. Here's Osman. 11 points in the game. Sexton with it. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Now in terms of rebounding over the last 10 games, these are the rookies that have been head and shoulders above the rest. You look at AI. He does a great job inside. One of the top rebounders in the league. He's brought that physicality. I mean, given a chance to contribute, he's shown that he can battle inside with the best of them. 
Zizic has checked in for Nance. And you see the speed, the athleticism, and scoring ability of Sexton. Special. A guard with a fantastic skill set and loads of potential. Back to LeBron. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. A moment here to see some numbers for LeBron James. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so. He's around 18 points per game, eight assists, and six rebounds. And he's a threat to go off in any game from anywhere. I love it when guys tap back into that gift. All these guys at some point were that kind of player in their career. Fun to see it show up here. Clarkson against Harris. Now, here's Clarkson. He's guarded close. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. James looking around. And another steal for him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Twelve seconds left in the third quarter. Floats it up for AI. Hammers the alley-oop through. Yeah, I don't know how you defend LeBron in the screen and roll because he can fire passes right through the defense and into any gap available. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Yep. Cavaliers lead by 12. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Sexton, Zizic out there with John Henson. Then there's Jordan Clarkson, and it's Osman in at the three slot. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. Clarkson with the ball, picked up by Harris. Clock is at three. And that one's good, Osman. Osman's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Cavs. Left side, Harris. He feeds it to James. Lakers working the ball around now. And that one's good. AI. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Clarkson passes to Zizic. Back to Clarkson. And Sexton has it in the corner. And it's AI with the rebound. The AI's got his What's eighth the rebound thing? here tonight. Come on. Do LeBron this, outside. No, no, don't pass it. In the corner, it's Harris. Come on. It's good. Nice. Harris has got 19 points. The muscle on display. Harris good at keeping his focus and not letting the defense alter his shot. Here's Osman. He's guarded by Stevenson. Osman kicks to Henson. Oh. His three pointers off the mark. Come on, shot. Go one on one. One on one. Three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Passes it to Ingram. Stevenson outside. Back to Ingram. Shoots over Clarkson. Nice. Goes back up. LeBron dishes to AI. Stevenson outside. Good on the Thank shot. You, and they shaved the lead to single digits. Thank you. In that first half, guys, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes as they have here in the second. Trying to use that shot to stay in the game. Sexton with it. Now guarded by Ingram. Sexton kicks to Clarkson. He 
He dishes it to Sexton. Yeah, in the yeah. drought, drains it from beyond the arc. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. And certainly, they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Ingram passes to AI. It's James atop the key. Good once again. That makes him eight for nine this game. Well, LeBron right through the defense this time. Incredible at finishing off that one. Ball's knocked loose. Sexton dishes to Clarkson. Kicks it to Sexton. Oh, my God. And the foul on John Henson. That's his third foul of the game. Kevin Love's checked in for John Henson. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Ball's checked in. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. AI passes to LeBron. Floats it up for AI. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. Clarkson against Harris. From 13, misses off the right iron. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. So far in the fourth quarter, they have just six points. And you can sense things now starting to tighten up. Their offense has become unstoppable. Right, big scoring run fueled by great game planning and really some great shot making. Sexton kicks to Love. Pass to Sexton. Here's Osman. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Ingram. No. And another miss Thank by you. Cleveland. Lakers trail by six to the inside. And nice. James gets it to go on the assist from Ingram. And that's now 21 points for LeBron. Now, here's Sexton. He's covered by ball. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Thompson's checked in. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Los Angeles. Here's Clarkson. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And Jordan Clarkson is a player who is looking for his shot whenever he gets the ball. Can distribute enough, but it isn't his top priority. Very dangerous when left alone outside. Well, he talks so much about rhythm from the field. How about a rhythm from the free throw line? That looks good. Harris finds James, and nice. James Baby. throws it down. Yeah, there's no stopping LeBron right What's there. That? He's done that thousands of times. And with Clarkson, as good as he is outside, Greg, he bad. prefers to shoot off the uh -huh. dribble than on the catch. Yeah, and it's why Clarkson gets labeled a, a high-volume, low-efficiency guy. Terrific on uh, catch-and-shoot chances. Maybe. I think if he played more towards his strengths, he could put together a career year. And the Cavaliers call time here. And, Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Cleveland's head coach was talking about with his team. This game is close, and he told his players, hey, guys, this is when it's fun, right? This is a close game, and this is when you get to show what you're made of. Right here, right now. Kevin, we'll see how they respond. Thompson dishes to Clarkson. Once again, yes. off the mark by Cleveland. Come on, come on. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. And what I like best is that he does it completely under control. Really gives the shooter nowhere to turn to. Now, here's AI. Floats it up for AI. They need it on one desperately. And boy, did they come up big. I just think it was a matter of getting recomposed, altering their game plan just a little bit. They look completely in sync now. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. And here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers schedule looks like. They'll be facing Joel Embiid. 
and the Philadelphia 76ers. And then on Saturday, they'll be playing against James Harden and the Houston Rockets. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best. But if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. Here's James to the middle. Here's Kuzma. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Cleveland's oh. gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Clarkson against Harris. And the call will go against Corey Harris. And that'll be his third foul so far. So it's the Cavaliers now. Out to Thompson. The three. It's in and he's a very efficient Come on. Six on the game. Come on, man. You can't and shoot, you can see man. the play call. Going on. Have another one from distance. Yeah, no question. It looks Not like there. they've rented out room along the perimeter in this ball game. And they're likely to keep doing this until the defense makes an adjustment. And Thompson sends it back. Ah. Here's Osman. Dishes it to Sexton. Love outside. There's the pass to Clarkson. Harris on the double team. Shoots it up. Offensive rebound. No. Thompson. It falls for no, the sixth time in seven no. tries this contest. That's 86%. Now that's what Tristan Thompson does best, just working the glass and working the D over. The kick out to LeBron. Now AI. Back to LeBron. To the middle. Stolen by Thompson. Now Cleveland moving it up. Uncovered. The second effort. Feeds to Love. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And now an eight-point Cavalier lead. Well, he's taking it right at the defense as Kevin Love right now, sniffing out some offensive opportunities. Oh, my God. Pass to James. He kicks to AI. And it's ball in the corner. And that time, also a missed shot. The Cavaliers leading by eight. To the inside. Poke loose, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Just active defensively here, being extremely disruptive. Like the aggressiveness and a great effort just to get a hand on it. Harris on the double team. And stolen by AI. Lakers trail by eight. LeBron outside. Pass the ball. Down low. AI kicks the ball. Six to shoot. Got a piece of it. Do, 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 and the Lakers do, with do, do, another do, do. turnover Thanks, here. Man. My question's not taking me out, man. My God. Cleveland's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. And here's Sexton. Makes it off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by ten. You know, we, we've seen this with Sexton in college, and he can get into a zone and just take over a game offensively. Los Angeles calls timeout. It's been quite a game for Colin Sexton. And he can't be stopped right now. The D looks like they're at a loss, and they have no idea how to contain him. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Colin Sexton. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance jump shots have been kind of an afterthought his main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong Osman kicks to Clarkson pass to Sexton clock at six the dish to love and he makes that one and it's a 12-point Cavalier lead. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, here's Ball. He's guarded closely. To halt the run. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. 
never lacking in confidence down inside. The, the grittiness Harris plays with earns him those calls. And Harris drops them both. The Cavaliers leading by 10. Love outside. One fifty-eight left in the fourth quarter, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. What about Kevin Love getting a little physical on the defense, good at using his size and some of that length to pick up the foul on his way up. Well, Greg, we know that Kevin Love is a great passer, but just how much more does that open up for his team? I mean, his outlets get the team up and moving in terms of transition faster than probably anyone else could. It's it, very hard to double Love with the ball as his awareness and that passing that you mentioned immediately will find the open man. And Love's passing alone is probably worth about 10 extra points a game for his team. Lakers trail by 12. LeBron passes to A.I. And A.I. throws it down. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. The pass to Osman. And Thompson kicks to Sexton. We've got 108 left here in the fourth quarter. Lock at six. Here's Osman. The Lakers with the rebound. And, and, you know, it's almost as if he wore himself out with that performance in the last quarter. He hasn't had nearly the same kind of energy in this one. Sexton, the pass to Love. Shoots over Kuzma. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. Yeah, sometimes everything can go right, but the shot doesn't go down. Nothing there is automatic. Drops in the tray. Yeah, LeBron showing all the ways that he can dominate a game here on another level in this one. Cleveland with the ball. Seven-point differential. Good work there as it goes. Well, he's like a fumbling banker right now, dropping dimes with ease. I like how well he led his teammate on that possession. Stolen by Thompson. Clarkson with the ball. So the first one drops, and that will push the lead to double the And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is... asking for you. Can you uh, answer some questions real quick? All right. Thanks, Charlie. I'll be there in five minutes. All right. I'll see you in the conference room. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all I got right now. I'll see you later. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah.